Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Linda and today I will be retaking my yearbook photo. I just really wanted to share with you all how we're gonna run this through and everything because I did graduate. I think it's been, oh my gosh, it's been two years. This video's purpose is to just kind of give you guys some helpful tips on what to look out for since I've been there already. Without further ado, let's get on into the tutorial. Yeah. If you guys are a returning audience, I hope it's okay, right? <gasps> I have shame. Oh no. If you guys are returning subscribers, I know I have not been here on YouTube for literally the longest time. I'm so sorry. I feel like for the past year, everything's just been crazy, so I decided to take a mini break from YouTube. And I hope you guys could all understand where I'm coming from. Oh goodness, I forgot how I did this back in the days. Back in the days, like eight months ago. <laughs> One quick question though, if you did take your yearbook photo, what year was it? Or if you're going to, let me know what year you'll be taking it. But this is how natural lighting looks. And I am suspecting that you guys are putting your makeup in natural lighting or it's either this small ring light, something like this, with a vanity, vanity light. I prefer you guys to like put it on with vanity lights just because you can see how your makeup will look with the lights. You know what I mean? We're gonna go back to lights now. Bam! All this light. Well, it's time to the face so for brows I do recommend you guys to go a little bit darker just because there's gonna be flash and whenever you use flash um, some of the color on your face will go a little bit more transparent if that makes sense this is what I use this is the flawless this is not a sponsored video it's just what I use and what works for me I'll put this in the link if you guys need it so basically there's this little button it just looks like this, and you go. Sounds kind of scary, but I swear it's not. It's super gentle on the skin, and then all you do is just go in circles and get rid of all that peach fuzz. So I'm back with brows. Oh God, they look so dark. Why do they look so dark and funny? I've been doing it this for years, and I like doing my eyes first. Just because I know the shadows I'm using will pan out, and there's gonna be a lot of fallout. Ooh. For today's. Oh my god. I literally love this palette, you guys. Like, my baby. So I'll be using the Bare Necessity, this shade right here. And I'm gonna just put that all over my crease. She built a little different, but I promise you guys, I think it's because it was in the back for a while. It's acting up. I have to tap it out. Tap, tap, tap it out. <laughs> you could blend all the way up here too if you want. I am going to be wearing a black dress. So I'm going for neutral colors instead. Everything just ties in together just because you don't know what kind of background you're going to be using and you know, you don't want your makeup to look off if that makes sense, but you know, you do you or whatever. If you want to go for something bold and colorful, go for it. I like to be safe. There you go. I like to play on the safe side and go with neutrals. Probably have to, I'll probably use this one too, actually. Just because this shade right here, oh my god, this shade, I freaking love this shade. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, the peaches and everything just blend, like, just looks so good on my skin. So definitely, there you go, that's another tip. Look for a shade that you know will suit you. Going with this Makeup Revolution shade right here. Just gonna tap, tap, tap it in. And then bring all over this line. 
Now what I like to do if you're like on a rush or something and you know, you only have like a few brushes, you get something like this from, I don't know where I got it from. It's a clean sweep. I think I got it, I probably got it from Ross or something, but all I do is I sweep this all over this pad and it literally, look, it takes all the, all the shadows away. It's dark chocolate shade. This chocolatey shade, oh my god, this shade looks so good, like, it looks like chocolate. chocolate. So you want to build that up. And I think that's why it's like super important for you to just lay the canvas, the color on first, and then go in with the darker shade to define and just add dimension to your eyes. I'm gonna pop this in the outer corner. Look at that right here. Blend it all again. That looks terrible. Can you see that? Well, I hope you can't. Okay, this eyeliner sucks. I think because I'm almost out of it. So let's try a different eyeliner. Hmm, she's a period. This is a common mistake people make. I mean, I would get if you like your face to look a little bit lifted down, but you could tell already. This eyeliner is making my face look a little bit more lifted. While this one is drooping it down a little bit, you know, if we cover both sides, which one would we pick? Now, no shame to people who, you know, do use this technique. It's just me personally, okay? Alright, alright. We have two foundations. I actually have four, but to make it easier, we're going to choose from two. Now, quick little test for you guys. Which one would you guys pick? for your photo shoot. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation or the Lancome Taunt Idol Ultra Wear. Before you keep watching, comment that down below. This is a really trick question, but it's actually really simple. So the foundation that I'll be choosing is this one right here. Rather than the land content taunt bit, as you can tell, it does say there is sunscreen SPF of 15. So you do not want anything related to sunscreen. This is such a great foundation for daily makeup, but for photo shoots and everything is a no go no go like anything with flashes no go so no i do use this foundation a lot in my makeup looks but that's because i don't use flash when i take my pictures but i'm actually going to mix it with my fenty beauty soft matte pro longwear i'm gonna scrape her off and we're gonna put her on take a buff brush and then just Blend this in. I rather go in with a brush just because I know that it's not soaking in a lot of my foundation, so I don't have to like keep squeezing, keep mixing, and doing, repeating all those steps. So, and then we could blend this down to the neck area as well. The foundation right here, and we're gonna, you know, conceal the brow right here. So I don't want that white um, concealer to be showing through. I got a lot of comments in my last video how not a lot of girls or boys knew how to do their makeup. And so I would say to research a lot and you know, you're the only one that knows how your face shape is so go off by that try different techniques if you have time or if you don't have time 
why are you staring at me? But I'm staring at it. I forgot to put primer on, so there you go. That's another tip. Don't forget to put your primer on so it could last throughout the day. If you know any YouTubers that has kind of like your face shape, definitely watch their videos and see what they do. But also give yourself time to um, climb yourself up too so you won't be in such a rush. Now I like my temples to be look like sucked in a little bit so what I do is I'll just you know kind of nudge her a little bit, tap her in a little bit. And then if I want to, if you want to just you know give it a little bit more snatch, I recommend this to contour. This is the tart. Hotel Harris, Harris, a little bit on your brush, and what I do is just on the side right here, tap it in a little bit. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. It's on Lays. She's yellow. We love her. Take the excess in the back of the little pan and just set everything. Set your under eye foundation. I would say concealer, but I didn't use concealer. And definitely on the sides as well. Look at that. Snatches it. Snatches it. Literally. There's so many different nose shapes. Literally. But this is the one that I like to do the most for my nose shape, you know. I have kind of like a... A lot of people would say I have a small nose. I don't know. I see other girls and I'm like, damn, their, their noses are smaller. I do like my nose. I never had insecurities with it, but it could use some work, you know. What I do is I feel the tip of my nose, kind of like the bone structure of it, and then just draw a straight line. And then I work it towards the... This part right here and connect it to the brows and I know a lot of people draw like a little right there like a little line I don't prefer to do that I don't know I just don't think it looks natural to me so as you can see on this side I added a little bit of the foundation I use as a concealer and just drew a line down it's not just straight it has a little bit of a soft curve up here I'm gonna try to replicate that on the other side. And we're gonna blend it out with a booty blender. Booty blender, booty blender, do your magic. My new nose, oh. So I used the Milani Shadow Eyes in this, in the shade, I was gonna say this style, in this shade Brown Deluxe and just ran that through my waterline on the bottom right here. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but I like how it like makes my eyes glow a little bit since I kept everything pretty neutral and matte. And then I went in with the Bare Necessity shade and I just kind of smoked that out, blended her out. We're gonna move on on to lashes. Oof, I'm excited, super excited. I got sent some new lashes, so we're gonna try that. So this is actually from Mesmer Eyes. If you guys want to check these lashes out, I will leave their link in the description box. And this is in the style called Seduce. Literally, the packaging is so cute, you guys. This is so cute. It's holographic and bam. Oh, she said, hey girl, what you doing? I'll be using the Bare Minerals, what is this, Peachy Keen Blush. This color is so freaking pretty. Like, this would match so much with this look. Let's put her on. Let's put her on. Oh my god, yes. So you guys want to put a little bit more than you usually do. Just because there's going to be flash, photography, and bald. Or if there's not, you could always ask your school if there is, you know, 
get all the deets, the info, the tea, and then go from there as well. Okay, so I am contemplating on which lip liner I want to use. I don't know if we want to use the Milani one or the Kylie one. I don't know. Okay, since it is a pretty dark look, we're going to go in with the Kylie lip liner. She's a bad bitch. Ah. I really like how this look came out. It's super, super. It's giving me all the fall vibes I want. I think I'm going with this color. Take a little bit of my concealer. And then. I'm going to be using my Milani Make It Last Matte. 16 hour setting spray and we're just gonna be setting this all in it smells so good oh i kind of forgot about highlight okay highlighter we're going to use some highlighter like if i smell already you could see a little bit of glow from within that's only the oils that i have within me so we're gonna a little bit not too much oh my god oh she's glowing glowing now here too to make her look a little gl I don't like to put it on my nose typically just because I feel like it's a little bit too much highlighter for me. Take a booty blender, go over it if you need to, if it's too much. What I look for, like, for yearbook photos, I go glam glam. But I know some gals go really simple as well. So let me know if you guys want a simple glam tutorial. This is the finished look. I'm just going to do my hair and then I'll be right back. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips and advices I gave you guys. Advices. Advice. Is that a word? And if it was helpful, please leave a comment down below telling me what was helpful. And with that being said, I'll probably end this video by showing you guys the pictures that I took with flash on. So you guys could see the evidence of how the makeup actually looked with flash. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you all in my next one.